the ninth greatest play in Super Bowl history, Sean Payton ambushing the Colts to start the second half of Super Bowl 44. We got to recover the onside kick, boys. So the Saints will kick it away, beginning the second half, trailing 10-6. Thomas Morstead steps into the football, and it's an onside kick. And it's going to be covered up by Chris Reese, I believe. I'm watching for the kickoff. I, I don't see it going into the end zone. Wait, onside kick? He thought, no, no, what are you doing? That doesn't make any sense. And then it works out, and you go, oh, wow, that was just genius. It's New Orleans ball. Wow. It was the biggest play in that Super Bowl and changed the tide. You better believe a play this good has a kicking name and an even better backstory. You know, they say the who helped the Saints win the Super Bowl because the halftime show was so long. But halftime's 35 minutes, you know, somewhere between Teenage Wasteland and Pinball Wizard, you know, decided that this was, this was going to be the time to run this. We're going to start this half kicking off. All right, ambush. Let's go get this game. That meant all the pressure was on Thomas Morstead. Their poor kicker was, for the entire halftime, just panicking. Thomas Morstead has this awesome quote. He says, I wasn't worried. I was terrified. Don't blow it. Don't blow the kick. It should have been easily recovered by the Colts, and it just popped out of Hank Baskett's hand. You know, everyone in America knew Hank Baskin at the time because he was dating a Playboy Playmate. Players underneath that pile said they had never seen anything like that. It was 10 minutes of pushing and shoving. You get out of here! Get out of here! Hey, this can't happen. We had the ball. You have to have a big set of them to make that call. When the president is calling out what a gutsy, unbelievable call. I make some tough decisions every day, but I never decided on an onside kick uh, in the second half of the Super Bowl. That took some guts. That is the ballsiest play in Super Bowl history. Parcells said it. You got to have balls That's to win this game. Balls, I'm telling you. <laughs> you set the record.